Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bria Janelle with LoudGenius.com and as you guys can see, we're back inside of Phillips Arena. But in the meantime, before we get going, here's a look back at some of the sights and sounds of the NBA. I didn't feel like the competitiveness was where we needed, you know, the, the activity and those kinds of things. Um, you know, that's, I think, uh, you know, be something that we kind of measure ourselves on and judge ourselves and um, it just, it's, it's, I think we have high standards, high expectations and and I think I got to be better. We all got to be better. Um, just our activity and our competitiveness from the start of the game to the end of the game. You're coaching against people. I know I always look at the box score of the game before, and if they really struggled and they're really good, that's a scary sight um, because you know that guys like that don't don't have quiet nights twice in a row very often. I mean, Marcus just drove. You know, defense could laugh. He made a great play. And uh, I mean, I hit I think two before that in the same spot. So I just had the confidence to knock it down. Being with these guys in this locker room and continuing to develop incredible relationships with them every single game, you know, every single practice, off the court, um, that pass has to be made, and he has to shoot it. If he doesn't shoot it, then I'm, I'm going to be right in his face telling him that he needs to shoot it. Excuse my language. <laughs> but, you know, he's, he, he's got to step up, and, and everybody in this locker room understands that they got to be great within their role. You guys are preparing to play against the Hawks tonight. What's kind of the mindset, seeing that they are 1-7 and seven coming into tonight's contest? Well, you know, one of the players that they picked up, Isaiah Taylor, who we released, we'll know he'll be fired up for the game. And I've worked with a lot of uh, players on their team, and Braysmore and Prince, mm -hmm. so I'm sure that they'll be fired up for the game, and they're looking for a win. You know, a couple of more games, they would have had three, two or three more wins. Right. So they're not a team that's one and seven. They're playing hard, and I think Coach Bud is doing a great job. So we saw you getting a little extra work uh, with Coach in practice. Talk a little about, you know, your, your development as a player and some things that you guys are continuously working on to perfect your I mean, as a player, you're always trying to develop yourself. You're always trying to uh, to do stick with your routine. So this is a routine that I'm doing like uh, before every game. Just uh, stay after sh uh, shooting some free throws, shooting some mid-range shots, just to, to, to keep that feeling with the ball. Where were you when you saw that the Astros, or what were you doing when you saw the Astros have won the World Series? We had just finished the game in, um, in New York, and so you know we were kind of watching it after our game, and they just had they had a momentum. Uh, that, no credit to the Dodgers. They they played a hell of a series as well, but uh, it was just it was so, so competitive. And I mean, that's all you can ask for a Game Seven in a uh, at a World Series. We Houston strong. It's the first time the Astros have won the World Series. So today nobody's in school. Everybody's right, at the right, at the at the, at the, at the parade. <laughs> and then we we were all excited because we were playing in New York when they were winning, and when we knew that they'd gone up 5-0 in the first, we thought we were in good shape.